want to know how poor Georgians made themselves look good? They didn't. Ha! Horrid smelly peasants! They couldn't have been more different from us nice Georgian posh people. This is Lord and Lady Posh from the manor. Hello. We're very, 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 very rich. And they're doing a wife swap with the peasant family of Poorville. Hello. We're very, very, very hungry. So how will these two very different Georgian classes get on? Show me to my bedroom, poor person. Uh, this is your bedroom and our bedroom and the living room, kitchen and dining room. Oh. And where, pray, is the toilet? Well, there's a hole in the ground out back. Are you all right? And things don't get off to a much better start in the mansion. Ah, oh, you must be Mrs. Peasant. Mm -mm. Mm. Enchanté. <laughs> uh. It's dinner time in the peasant household. I am absolutely starving. I haven't eaten anything for nearly an hour. What's for dinner? Oh, the usual. Nothing. Why is your girl staring at my hair? It is quite unnerving. I think you've got some food in it. That fruit is decoration, my girl, hmm? Hmm? I swear, I had more fruit in my hair this morning. That little scamp has stolen an apple. Now I shall have a word with the judge in the morning and, um, have her hanged. Dinner time in the posh house is a very different affair. Do you know, I spend more on grapes every day than you probably earn in a month. <laughs> mm. We don't earn anything in a month. Not since you posh people were given ownership of the common land. Ah, the Enclosures Act. Yeah, what a wonderful piece of legislation. I must remember to congratulate my close friend, the Prime Minister. Mm. But we poor people have got no fields left to work. Oh, that is a sad story. Would you like my private 27-piece orchestra to play you something sad? Orchestra! Play something sad. Now, do go on. <laughs> I never thought I'd say this about the Lord of the Manor, but I'm starting to think, in actual fact, he's not really very nice. It's time for the Lord and Lady of the Manor and the peasants of the village to settle their differences. I, we really had no idea of the terrible conditions in which you peasants live. I see, my lady. So my wife and I have decided to do something about it. We're going to flatten your entire village. <laughs> mm. What? Well, it is quite an eyesore, and it really rather ruins our nice country views. Mm. Mm. I mean... You can tootle off to town and die working in a mill or something. <laughs> oh, no, you're upset. Oh, dear. Orchestra, play something sad. Oh, dear, dear, dear. No crying. No crying. <laughs> Rich people rarely did that kind of thing in Georgian times. Uh, the Duke of Chandos rarely had his own private orchestra. And the Earl of Carlisle had a whole village flattened just because it ruined his view. <laughs> Do you know, actually, I've been thinking of having that sofa flattened so I can see exactly what's been left out in the kitchen. <laughs>